What does tele mean? Tele. Tele means far away. Television means you can see things far away. Vision means what you see, okay? Scope. What is scope? Scope is um, a device that you can see with, okay? To further confirm. What does further mean? Further means uh, to, a, to an extended um, degree, okay? To, um, to go more, okay? Becoming greater in degree or uh, extent, to, okay? And um, father is a similar word. Father is the... Um, um, it means more far, okay? So it's different. This is just uh, the distance, all right? And this can be more um, uh, conceptual, okay? All right? Okay. Um, to further confirm, what does confirm mean? Confirm means uh, you see that something is true, okay? And, uh, to, uh, and you say, say that uh, in a definite way, okay? Confirm that the heliocentric model was correct. Okay? So he used his telescopes to, um, to support this idea, okay? Let's go to the next part. Heliocentric model was correct. Since this isn't a science class, we won't get into how he did it. However, Galileo's work had huge social ramifications. One of them was that he really upset the Roman Catholic Church with his theories. So, the Church made an effort to suppress Galileo's findings. And that's what we need to get into right now. Okay, what is this part about? This part is about the uh, heliocentric model was not... Um supported, not welcomed by the Catholic Church. <clears throat> Since this isn't a science class, we won't get into how he did it. Since, what does that mean? Since it means because, because this is not a science class, we, we're not going to do, uh, uh, go more in detail. However, Galileo's work had huge social ramifications, uh, had a huge, huge, means big, all right? Huge social. What does that mean? Social. Social uh, relates to um, people living together. All right. Social ramifications. What's a ramification? Ramification is um, having uh, a, a great uh, consequence or effect. All right. Um, usually, not at first, but. Uh, it it uh, becomes to have uh, a consequence or if or an effect a great one all right one of them was that he really upset the roman catholic church with with his theories one of them was that he really upset what does that mean upset upset means to uh, make someone feel unhappy all right the roman catholic church What does Roman mean? Roman means relating to Rome, all right? Catholic Church. What does Catholic uh, Catholic mean? Catholic is um, Catholic is Christian, uh, which um, which has the Pope as its leader, based in Vatican in Rome, okay? It's a branch. Catholic Church is a branch of a Christian church which has the Pope as its leader. So the church made an effort to suppress Galileo's findings. So the church made an effort. What is an effort?
Make an effort means to try, okay? To suppress. What does that mean? Suppress. Suppress means to uh, force, all right? Or by making it illegal. Suppress Galileo's findings. What's a finding? Finding is what he has discovered. And that's what we need to get into right now. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about right now. So this is the end of the uh, passage. Let's look at the um, questions. What is the lecture mainly about? Okay. What is it about? It's about uh, the two models which explains the movement of the sun and the earth and the other planets. Okay, so what's the answer? Two different models of the solar system would be the answer, right? Let's look at other options. A. The scientific works of Aristotle. Uh, the professor mentioned Aristotle, but not his scientific works. B. And it's not the main topic anyway. B. The 16th century revolution in scientific thought. Um, 16th century was what in this uh, passage? It's, um, it's the period, it's the time when people uh, started to challenge the geocentric model, all right? But this is not the main topic. 16th century revolution. What is revolution? Revolution is an important change, all right? It originally means a successful attempt by um, a large group of people to um, change the political system um, by force, okay? In scientific thought, so this is not the answer, C, the heliocentric theory of the universe. This is just one part, right? The other uh, branch, the other part, which has the same um, importance was the geocentric one. How is the discussion organized? Are you seeing this clear? I think it's too far or something. That's all right. How is the discussion organized? What does organize mean? Organize means to um, arrange something in order, okay? So how is this organized? Uh, it's organized by, so uh, this means how is the lecture, the discussion, um, structured, okay? It's a C, by naming the two main theories and discussing them. What did the, the professor and the student do? They discussed the two main uh, theories, they mentioned it, and then started to explain. So C is the answer. Let's look at other options. A. By describing how people try to prove each theory. Um, this was not... Uh, they didn't mention how people try to improve each theory, right? And it's not the way that the discussion is um, organized anyway. B. By starting with the correct theory and then moving to the incorrect one. Is this right? The correct one was what? Uh, heliocentric. But uh, that was in the la um, at the back part, all right? So it's the other way around. They uh, presented the incorrect one first and then to the correct. So B is not the answer. D, by listening to, uh, by listing the achievements of the scientists who believed in each theory, what is achievement? Achievement is a great thing that someone did, all right? Uh, they didn't list the, list the achievements of the scientists who uh, believed in each theory, although they have mentioned who the scientist was uh, who uh, supported that theory, okay? That's really tricky. Based on the information in the lecture, do the following sentences refer to geocentrism or heliocentrism, okay? So which one 
relates to geocentrism and which one relates to helio. Okay? Was believed by Aristotle. Which one did Aristotle um, believe in? Geocentric one. It was uh, believed for 2,000 years. Two. So this is geocentrism. What was the dominant theory for 2,000 years? Also the geocentrism, right? What does dominant mean? Dominant means ruling, ruling, all right? Was believed by Nicolaus uh, Copernicus. He believed in what? Heliocentrism. He was the one who challenged the uh, geocentrism. Was uh, confirmed by the use of the telescope. Which one was? Heliocentrism, right? By who? Galileo Galilei, okay? Listen again to the part, to part of the lecture, okay? So you need to listen again. Type 4. Listen again to part of the lecture, then answer the question. That's a pretty succinct answer, Craig. Now, let me give you a few of the details concerning each. First, please be aware that the ancients knew Earth was round. Don't believe all that stuff about people thinking Earth was flat. What does the professor mean when she says this? That's a pretty succinct answer, Craig. What did I say? What was uh, pretty uh, succinct mean? It means... Uh... Uh, something is explained clearly with few words, all right? So it's short and clear. That's what complimenting the student, all right? So which would be the answer? The student's answer was well stated, okay? So let's look at other options. The student gave an incomplete answer. No, right? This is the opposite. He gave a good answer. B, the student must have done the reading. Okay. This is not very uh, relative. C. The student should be more careful when answering. Uh, this is not about that, so the answer would be D. Okay, this is everything, right? So, um, see you next time. Bye-bye.